keep hitting yourself after just two months. Then we've got Klein, the alpha male. He's been practicing doing that for about 20 years now. He still can't do it, he hasn't got a clue. But it doesn't matter, he's kept him busy trying. And uh, they do all have different skills. See, you do things that Merlin can. It's just uh, proving to the animal that they can balance. Now, to do this, he's using his whiskers. The whiskers are the secret to this activity. Once the ball's on his nose, he can show his eyes and do this. He's not watching the ball. Those whiskers are incredibly sensitive to any touch, any movement. They're more sensitive than our fingertips. So every time that ball moves, he's pressing gently on some of his whiskers. When he feels that pressure, he moves his head to stop the ball from falling. But um, it is a clever ability. He can now balance another ball on his nose. That was good, though. You can have a herring for that. Well done. Here we have the American football. Now, when he finally got good at balancing the basketball, he made the exercise harder by swapping into this one, which is a slightly different shape. And at first, he got confusing signals from his whiskers. He kept dropping it one way or the other. But we just kept practicing until it stayed there. When he got good at doing that, we turned it this way around. Now, this is something he was no good at a year ago. A year ago, he'd have dropped the ball by now. It's a bit of a breeze blow today, which makes this harder. It's not a trick. People always ask me questions like, do you put weights in the ball? Are there strings attached to the ball? Several kids have asked me if they put soup in the ball. No, we don't. Um, there's no trickery, trickery involved at all. It's just all about practice. It's all about that positive reinforcement. And it's all to do with those whiskers. Now, we can actually swim and balance 